recently I made a post on Facebook after my friends asked me to throw some trapping photos out there. I haven't done that all all season. Ooh, kind of. Most people were very positive about it, but boy, there were a few people that were not positive about it. Um, just kind of like on any of these trapping videos or trapping posts, there's always those people that say we're horrible human beings and don't understand wildlife management, don't understand, um, you know, how responsible trappers mostly are and how, um, you know, good we are to the animals and the kinds of equipment we use. So one of the conversations I got into it with on Facebook was about releasing non-targets and, and animals. So I wanted to do a little video about that. And the first thing I wanted to do is um, talk to you about the kind of um, release mechanism I use. I use these catch-all um, release catch pole. Um, I like it because it's easy, super easy to use. Um, it's got a nice cable on this end, um, and it's got the nice um, plastic all the way around so you don't hurt the animal at all when you release it. It's super easy to use on the, on the rear. You just pull this little cable, tightens it right up. And then it has a little release and you just pull it and then that loosens all the cable right out. Uh, it's got nice handles on it and this one is a four foot long one. So it's got plenty of, of room for me to be away from the animal and protect myself, but also be able to reach out and get, get the animal. Um, most of the time releasing these animals is really a no brainer. Um, for me around here this last season, I released um, a couple gray foxes just because we have so few foxes anymore. In fact, I don't know if we have any red foxes. I mean, every now and then you'll see one, but I didn't see any on any game cameras this last season and didn't catch any either. The coyotes have pretty much killed them all or run them all off. We do have gray foxes around and I'll normally harvest a few, um, but I don't want to harvest all of them, obviously. So I always leave a few, especially females. I'll usually take all the males um, and I let some go with that. In fact, I have a video that I'm going to show you here in a minute of releasing one of those. And then of course I caught three dogs, um, one of my neighbor's dogs and two dogs, I don't know where they came from. Um, considering my, most of my neighbors are a long ways away, those dogs travel a long ways to get caught in my traps. And uh, I released a few other odd and animals, I released a few possums, but you don't even need a catch pole for that. Um, I released a couple of really small coons um, and I released a really small like uh, yearling bobcat. Um, and uh, just because I don't, didn't want to harvest that animal. So what are the keys about letting animals go? For cats, the big key is their blood vessels are really on the outside of the muscle, so it's right up against the skin. So the key in using a catch pole to release a cat is you've got to keep the tip of the catch pole up around its chin. If the catch pole gets to the back, you're going to tighten that um, little cable too tight around that animal and you're not going to let it breathe. Um, and it does not take much to kill a bobcat by just choking it around there. So you want to put it around the bobcat's neck, obviously, but try when you pin it down and get it on its back, and that's what you're going to do when you're trying to release these animals. You want to get them on their back, um, use the catch pole to get the end of it down into the ground. I usually will then stick it into my hip, my belt buckle, somewhere up in here where I can control it, and then I reach out and undo the, the trap levers to release the animal from the trap. So keep it in the chin uh, when it comes to bobcats for sure. I really try to do that with all the animals. I don't want to choke them out, um, but just hold them, pin them down, um, keep them down, keep some pressure on them and then let them go. Um, a lot of times they won't even run away right after you let them go because they're not 100% sure that they're loose yet. Um, I rec highly recommend that you don't park your truck or your UTV very close to a bobcat when you're going to release it because they're kind of just like house cats. They're just gonna run and go up underneath your, your vehicle. So don't do that, um, or you're gonna have a really hard time getting them out of that. Um, coons will normally just run off. I've never had a coon stick around. Foxes will sometimes stick around. In fact, on this video um, that you're seeing right now, you're gonna see I caught the gray fox. Um, I let it go, and it just continued to chew and bite at the end of my catch pole. Wouldn't let go. I finally let the catch pole down. Um, I continued to deal with the fox, and eventually it ran off completely fine on its own. Wasn't injured in any way. It was more of like playing a tug of war like let you go. would with your dog at home when she was a puppy. Come on, let go. So, um, interesting little release. Come on, let go. Coons to me are the hardest animals they let go because their front paws are so much like hands and they use their front arms or 
paws or legs or whatever you want to call them, just like hands. So they'll kind of push up on, on everything and they'll try to slide under and around on everything. They're very ambidextrous um, and they're very, um, the slick animals versus, you know, the canines or the cats, they pretty much are either up or down and they'll flip and flop on you, but um, the coyote or the uh, raccoons will slide. Um, so I actually have a harder time with them than anything of keeping them held down because I do not want to get bit by a raccoon. Um, so that's kind of it when it comes to releasing animals. Um, be very cautious of the bobcats. Don't park too close to them. I don't let the coyotes go. Um, foxes, just pin them down. They're going to make all kinds of growling noises, especially gray foxes because they're like chihuahuas. They think they're the meanest animal in the woods even though they're eight pounds. Um, don't worry about it. You're not going to hurt them. Just release them, pop them. Um, and they'll run off usually. Coons are the hardest ones. Possums don't even mess with. And skunks, you're on your own if you're going to release a skunk. So um, hope this helps. Make sure you subscribe. Um, share this with your friends and put in the comments below if uh, there's a different way or a better way that you release your catches. Thanks again for watching.